Hello everyone, Nicholas here at the 2014 Fort Myers Film Festival. This is the opening night and we're going to be going around and reviewing some of the people that are going to be coming around today. We are on the red carpet and where they're going to be taking all the photos, of course. I have my black ribbon for Sarah. So, I will see you in the next interviews. Hello everyone, we're here at Carrie Lundine. And Carrie, can you please tell us a little bit about why you're here today? Um, hi, Nicholas. Um, thanks so much. Um, I'm here because my film, Jens Jensen, The Living Green, mm -hmm. is in the Film Fest. And it's about a conservationist and landscape architect who, um, whose entire notion of democracy had to do with bringing green spaces mm -hmm. to people in places like Chicago, where when the city was first developing, it was considered the worst place on earth to live. Mm -hmm. So Jensen was really kind of one of the first pioneering conservationists, and he also designed the parks of Chicago to replicate the wide open prairie, which he recognized as a sort of a democratic, you know, landscape. Yeah. So, you know, so that's what the film is, so that's what it's about this guy, mm -hmm. and um, I think he has a lot to offer in terms of um, present day are trying to um, figure out how to you know, make sure that we, you know, keep our native landscapes intact and maybe even has ways of informing us of how to, you know, deal with ecological battles that might be in our own neighborhood like fracking and water usage and things like that. Well, that's very interesting. Yeah. Now, how can the viewers learn more information about yourself and about the film? Does it, do you and the film have a website, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere that they can go and search you up? Sure. Um, they can go to our website, which is the name of the film, Jens Jensen, the Living Green dot org. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can also follow us on Twitter, Jens Jensen Movie. Um, and they can see the movie on Friday at 4 o'clock. All right. So well, hopefully you will all come down. Well, thank you for letting me interview. Thanks, no problem. Hope you have a great night. Thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next interview. All right, so now we're here with three more people. Can you please introduce yourselves? My name is Greg Koch, mm -hmm. and my wife. Haiti Koch. Mm -hmm. And my name is Freddie Santiago. And now, can you please tell us a little bit about why you're here today? We're here supporting the, uh, uh, in the, in the indie films. Uh, we've been coming since November, uh, looking at all the films and voting on them and giving feedback. Through the Fort Myers Film Festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is there any specific films that you're seeing or just here kind of go along and seeing all the different documentaries as they are shown? As they're, as they're being shown, uh, this one's uh, supposed to be from the Sundance uh, Festival, mm -hmm. so it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see something that actually made it that far with all the awards. Well, it's really interesting to see uh, the different ideas because you never know what any what, what anybody's going to show, whether it's a documentary or their own custom story. So that's really great. Right. And what was what was nice about the uh, films that we've watched over the months. Mm -hmm. These, these films were from professional movies all the way down to very amateur where they've taken a film class for two weeks and they made a movie. And some of those had great uh, uh, meanings to them and so we've always enjoyed it. All right, well that's really cool. Hope you guys enjoy the nights. Thank you. And, Thank you. And I will see you in the next interview. All right, now we're here with Rachel. And Rachel, can you tell us why you're here today? Um, yesterday. Uh, I'm here because I produced a short film mm -hmm. that called Reaching Home, and it's screening on Saturday in the festival. Now, can, since you're a filmmaker, can you tell us a little bit about the film? Maybe a little background history on it? Uh, yes, actually, it's uh, about a woman who lost her husband a couple years ago, and she hasn't been able to really say goodbye. Mm -hmm. She has his ashes, and her family comes over for Easter Sunday, and her sons sort of harass her into uh, finally sending his, you know, Ashes yes, and he loved the bay, they live right on the bay, and they push her to dump them in the water, and she's not ready yet, That's so, so you'll have to wait for the ending. Yeah. So now, yes. how can the viewers learn more information about yourself in the film? Do you have a website, a Facebook, or a Twitter that they can go to? I do. Uh, it's rachelbrenna.com, mm -hmm. and the film is called Reaching Home, and our website will be live very, very soon, and it's reachinghome.com. All right. Yes. Well, I hope you have a great night. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank see you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did that to you. I'll see you in the next interview. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're here with Michael. Yes, Michael. Michael Rosato <laughs> Bennett. He, Michael. he can't say my name, but it's Rosato Bennett. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit about why you're here today? Um, I made a film that's opening the mm -hmm. festival called Alive Inside, the story of music and memory. Mm -hmm. And it... Um, is a heart-opening Victoria story about 
how love and music can change the world. Now, how can the viewers learn more information about the film and yourself? Do you have a web website, Facebook, or Twitter that they can go to? Um, yes, actually. Um, Alive Inside Film on Facebook and AliveInside.us on, um, I mean, that's our website, www.aliveinside.us. And on our site is a clip that, that, that from our film that went viral worldwide. Nine and a half million people have seen it. It's uh, 50 times more traffic than any, uh, any clip has ever gotten that, that talks about Alzheimer's. Wow, that, that's really amazing. All right, Michael. Yeah, I know you're a YouTube lover. Yes. There yes. You go. I, I, how much money are you making per month on the YouTube now? Yes. 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 All right. Well, All right. Good luck. Hope you have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. We will. We will. And good luck on your endeavor. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next interview. All right. So now we're here with Matt and Shannon. Now, Matt, can you please tell us what you're doing here today? Well, we're here to support the event. We're uh, regulars at the, the Monday night show and uh, have enjoyed that and looking forward to this week. Now, is there any specific films that you tend to look forward to? No, we well, kind of like a little bit of everything. That was what, what was fun about Monday night. You never knew what you were going to see. Yeah. Now, since you've been here in the past, is there any interesting films that you've seen? Like, is there any type of genre that you like? Well, I'm actually looking forward to seeing which movies from the Monday nights made it. So okay. I haven't, I haven't looked at the yeah. whole uh, lineup. So uh, we'll be surprised. Yeah, it's really interesting to come here and see the different films that people have made. I know it's 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 really fun and interesting to see. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Nice. Thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next interview. Hey everyone, we're here with Joe and Shannon. Now, can you tell us a little bit about why you're here today? Well, we came from Chicago, and uh, we're cousins of Eric Raditz of Fort Myers and uh, we came out to see what he has to offer and here it's just going to be a great time and we're looking very forward to it. Now is there any films that you're hoping to see or is there anything that makes you most excited about coming here? Well not anything in particular we, we love film and just anything is going to be great really. We want to go ahead I'm sorry. Have you been here in the past before? Uh, not this is our first film festival Oh wow! so okay. we're, we're very excited. Is there anything that you're really really looking forward to like seeing the different films that are going to be constructed seeing anything different? No, just I, I know there's films of different time limits. Yeah. We like the shorts, we like the longer films, you know, anything that, you know, all genres are great, so we're just we're looking forward for a nice, diverse film festival. Yeah. All right, well, it was a nice time speaking to you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Thanks so much. Have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next interview. Hello, everyone. We're here with David and Marty. And David, can you please tell us a little bit about why you're here today? Uh, well, I'm from Australia, mm -hmm. as you can probably tell from the accent. Uh, Marty and I have been sort of supporting and following the uh, Independent Film Festival okay. for quite some time, and we're here to see uh, the best of the best. Now, have you been here at the Fort Myers Film Festival before, or is this your first time? No, we were here last year. We were here. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything that makes you excited about this film festival in particular? Like, is there anything you're looking forward to, any type of genre of film? Not particularly on my behalf. Marty could probably have a little bit more to say about that. But I just look forward to uh, young and exciting talent. Oh, that's really cool. All right, well, thank, thank you. you thank you very much for meeting you. Thank you, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next interview. Hello again. Can you please introduce yourselves? My name's Eric. Mm -hmm. Amanda. Cindy Joe. Mm -hmm. I'm Riley. And now, can you please tell us a little bit about why you're here today? Because I understand you all, you know, you're all in a group, so. Perfect. Here, okay. Uh, we are all here because Eric has summoned us. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean that you're here supporting films, or have you actually we are. worked on a film? We you are. are. Yes, we usually go to the film festival every week. Is this your first time as a group? Um. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is my first time. Your first time? My first time. I came in support of uh, my friend Eric. He's he's one of the newest sponsors mm -hmm. for the Fort Myers Film Festival. Now, as supporting for uh, the film festival, is there any films or genres that you're really looking forward to? Um, anything independent is great. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to support new filmmakers. Mm -hmm. Now you? Uh, no genre in particular. Just uh, interesting would be nice. So just going along with when they are shown. Exactly. That's cool. I'm, I'm sure that I'm not going to be disappointed. All right. I got nothing there. <laughs> Looking forward to it all. Looking forward to it all. Well, that's very great. Hope you guys enjoy the night. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Hello, everyone. We're here with Mayor Randy Henderson. And, Randy, can you please tell us why you're here today? Well, my friend uh, Eric Raddix mm -hmm. is... Um, 
interested in film and has really inspired a lot of activity in filmmaking in Fort Myers. I've been to several of his events in the Sydney and Burn Davis Art Center. And Eric uh, brings a lot of awareness and creation to our city for which we are thankful for. He finds uh, the city of Fort Myers a very attractive uh, option for film making and uh, we're here to support that effort. Now is there any films that you are planning on seeing or are you just kind of seeing them as they come along? Well I've been just seeing them as they come along okay. as they're announced uh, and I support uh, Eric's uh, efforts and mm -hmm. I think he's highly competent and creative and he's, he's going to have a great influence over our city. Well that's really amazing because the not only the filmmakers but the people who come and watch the films that's what really makes the film festivals you know what they are. Well, I think uh, the citizens, both local and, and from afar, find Fort Myers an attractive place to visit. And to the extent that they could experience uh, creative filmmaking here uh, is, is a plus. That's really amazing. And now, how can people search more information about you? Obviously, they can Google your name. But sure. just so that if they don't, under, if they don't know, um, they have a website, Facebook, that they can go to to search up more information about what you do and uh, about yourself. Sure. Well, what I would encourage is to uh, go to the uh, City of Fort Myers webpage. You can Google uh, Mayor Randall Henderson. Uh, you can Google our city and Google uh, me as Mayor of Fort Myers, and uh, that will lead uh, those who are interested into uh, a host of details and information about the city and also uh, uh, highlight on there uh, why we're an attractive uh, venue and destination for filmmaking. All right, well, I had a great time interviewing. Thank you, Nicholas. Hope you enjoy the night. Thank you. And I will see you in the next interview. Good. Fifty million retweets. I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, we can break that. <laughs> so glad you're all here tonight. Excited about this opening film. Apparently, it won audience favorite at the Sundance Film Festival for U.S. documentaries. Eric just told me backstage he thinks it'll be nominated for an Oscar. Erica, she did a recycled fashion dress with some plexiglass. I'm getting me one when I grow up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this evening's film festival. Um, I want to also uh, recognize my wife, uh, Jenny, the first lady. Jenny, if you could stand up. Uh, where are you? Where is Jenny? There she is. Yeah. You are so sweet, Mayor Henderson. Thank you. There is an ulterior motive. I know now precisely where to sit when I get ready. <laughs> We're honored to have you here, I must say. Well, it's my honor, and let me just hasten to say, that um, Eric Raddix uh, told me just a few short years ago, Mayor, uh, we're going to create a, a film festival in Fort Myers, and uh, indeed he has done just that. Please give him a warm. The fourth annual Fort Myers Film Festival has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We've been doing all of our Monday night, our TGIMs at the Sydney and Burn Davis Art Center. And we're so excited when it comes time for the actual festival because you guys have no idea what you're in store for. The director of Live Inside, Michael Rosano Bennett. Come on here, Michael. And we couldn't have done it all, so to the Neuropsychiatric Research Center of South Florida, Dr. Frederick Sheriff and Angel Duncan. Come on up here, guys. Is Dr. Sheriff here? Here he is. All right. Please be seated. And you, you notice the standing ovation uh, and the tears and the joy. 